Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the Director of Research and Development in Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in making concrete do the impossible. My colleague... <laughs> I am Whitney Belkowitz, President and CEO of Intelligent Concrete. And today we're going to focus on technical transfer of new and emerging technologies, specifically focusing on topical additives and admixtures. So, technical transfer of topical additives and admixtures, where are we? Uh, industry is moving slowly. Slow. As they tend to do. Slow. Slow. Slow as in 10 snails. miles an hour in a 25 mile an hour zone or... I would say snails. Like... Snails in a 25 mile an hour people, zone. Or is it slow like people who should be walking on the sidewalk but are walking on the street? Yeah, I give it a go. Yeah, I would say that's slow. Yeah. Almost backwards. Perhaps. So a lot of these topical ad additives and admixtures have been out in the industry for decade decades plus. Right. Decade plus. I would say more, more than two decades. Um, decades. Well, except for silicate densifiers. Sure. Those have been, been out been for a very time. long time. Uh, and there are some clotosilica hydrogels that have been around for a long time right. too. Um, but there's others that have been, you know, out for only ten years plus sure. or within a decade. And but there's still like an amazing amount of data on their amazing validity and throughout the world, right? Throughout the world, lab and field, right? And despite all this, the industry is just not adopting. It. I mean, that is just the real tragedy of the industry. That unless there's a, a two for one coupon or the world's aligned and there's the perfect storm, our industry is very slow to adopt. Right. Um, so, what do you think is the number one reason, and how do we get past it? The number one, I feel like there's two reasons. Number two. So, oh, the first one I think is that engineers, and we've talked about this before, um, are kind of signing off on something for many decades, and so they're right. very nervous to put right. their stamp on something that they don't, understand. don't fully, right. completely, 100% understand. I think the other thing is... And we've talked about with many different right, topics. Right, right. Yeah, I um, agree. I think the other piece is that water is going to cost more eventually mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because of damage and deterioration, but initially they feel like it costs less because mm -hmm. they just have a bucket of water, and that's what they've been doing, so they're very quick to just do their thing and that's how I've been doing it my whole career I've been doing this for 30 years and and they're just good with that why am I gonna go spend money well, for no. this product when that I the engineer great... doesn't even want me to right. use when I've got a bucket of water that I can get away with and yeah and it's either that I agree with that that the alternative is so readily available it's practiced right. like for just as long, if not longer, than most of these other products, that it's very hard to change the culture. Sure. And I, I think that's. And that's a, what it is. It's, it's, it's changing it's a big, the culture. It's a big culture change. And while that might seem a little bit aloof and disconnected, um, you know, a lot of the folks who work on on these horizontal concrete elements, let's be very generic, whether it's from the contractual end or the contractor. Right architect to the engineer, they're, I mean, not looking past that slab, seven days past that slab's right. construction. Unless there's a lawsuit. And then they... Not everything goes right. to lawsuit, especially the bad decisions that we make. Sure. A lot of them actually just, you keep going with construction, you don't see immediate impact, but instead of it being a 20 year life, now it's a 10 year or a 10 month life. Right. So, and that, again, doesn't normally lead to lawsuits. Right. So, um, Probably not as often as it ought to. It's very hard. Like you know, we we did for the iPhone, you know, for the smartphone, for the BlackBerry, for the the Samsung Note. There really wasn't a cheaper alternative right. that created the same instantaneous effect. So when comparing it to why other new technologies picked up so quickly, sure. with topical additives, there are cheaper alternatives that give you that instantaneous sure. gratification. So I. Yeah, I, I I see these products getting into the industry, right? But I think it's going to take it's a, a little bit longer and more engineers to adopt it. Right. Definitely. So thanks for joining us today. Was there anything you wanted to add? I Sorry. think that was great. No, you're fine. Did you like my intro? Love. Well, you know, it was a little formal. I like your more jovial. 
Why don't you, uh, why don't you take Cheers. us out? Thank you so much for joining us today. Go ahead, like, subscribe. Ding the bell! I'll let you. you do this. Go concrete. Beat asphalt!